Rivian debuted not just one, but three new small electric SUVs today, and we're going to get a closer look at the all-new Rivian R2, R3, and R3X. Now, the R2, I expect, will be Rivian bread and butter when it arrives in early 2026 with a starting price of around $45,000. Now, the design is very similar to that of the R1S with the same light bar front and rear design and the brand's uh, sort of signature pill-shaped headlamps up front. There's also a frunk underneath there if you're curious. Of course, the R2 is smaller than the R1S. It's around 15 inches shorter from bumper to bumper, but its wheelbase is only around 5.5 inches shorter. So it still keeps that wide, long wheelbase planted stance. But before you go thinking that this is just a select all and scale version of the R1S, you should know that the R2 platform underneath is new, and it's built around a new battery pack with girthier cells. Now, Rivian tells us that for all of the configurations that this will be available in over its lifetime, single, double, and triple motor configurations, you're going to expect over 300 miles of range. And the triple motor version, with one motor in the front and two in the back, can even do a 0-60 to 60 sprint in under 3 seconds. Now, in addition to some of the thoughtful features that you've come to expect from Rivian's trucks and SUVs, like the uh, flashlight that stores and charges in the door using one of the battery cells that's actually pulled out of the battery pack, you'll also find thoughtful new features, like a sliding rear glass that helps you get a bit of an open air feel when you're driving around. There's also dual glove compartments, a bit of a weird emission from the R1 series that got a whole lot of excitement here to debut today. And there's also the fact that all of the seats, even the front two, fold completely flat so you can load long items like surfboards or put an air mattress in there for enclosed camping. Rivian tells us that the R2 will be built at its normal Illinois plant with the first examples reaching pre-orders holders in early 2026. And those pre-orders open today. But there is, of course, one more thing. Now, Rivian's one more thing is actually two more things. Meet the R3 and R3X, even smaller boys built on the R2 platform. Now, the wheelbase here is around five inches shorter even still than the R2, and it wraps over that wheelbase a sort of tall hatchback silhouette with a notchback design. It's got this sort of angular French rally car design that I just really love. Now, both of them feature a dual actuating hatchback, so you can open the whole hatchback up for a big old opening or just the rear glass if you want to, for example, hang a long item out of the back or just get access to something quickly. Now, the details are slim. All that we really know is that these are smaller versions of the R2 platform and that they'll come with the same single, dual, and triple motor configurations. We don't know anything about price or availability yet. We do know that the R3X over there is going to be a more performance-oriented version of the R3. It's got a taller ride height, a wider stance, more aggressive tires, and a lot of orange details here. It's going to be, I presume, available only in that triple motor configuration for the best rally-inspired performance. And on the inside, you'll find that it's got more premium materials as well as rally race car-inspired details. Again, no pricing or availability details about this one yet, but we imagine that either of these is probably going to start a little bit less than that 45000 starting point for the R2. Be sure to head over to CNET.com to learn more about the R2, the R3, and the R3X to get some expert opinions about all of them and to learn how they stack up against their very fierce competition. I'll meet you there.